Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Anti-Matter Chemistry. I am so excited to see that you guys are enjoying the video. The video just skyrocketed. It has like over 2000 views overnight, which is amazing. So thank you everybody so much for dropping the likes and the comments. I will respond to those today. I haven't gotten the time just yet to respond to them, but I will get to it. In between episodes, I dug out all of this light gray antimatter that we had here on top, so we have a nice looking room now, and I processed that through the chemical dissolver to get us a bunch of iron, and we have 26 iron ingots out of all of that, which is insane. But I also made a stack of blocks of charcoal, which are getting slowly used up in these furnace generators to provide us with power. I also just made some new tools. I made a sword, a shovel, and an axe, and we're gonna make some armor here, just out of stone and wood. Uh, I think it should be fine. Uh, so it's gonna provide us with at least some protection, and we can upgrade it as we go as well. Um, also, before we go into the nether, there is a quest that we can do, because there are, are these side quests? Yeah, so we can do start here, we can collect this, we can get Bam's pineapple pizza. There we go. And them hops. If we do 300 jumps, which we already did, we get a slime sling and some slime boots, and we can use that to travel in the nether. Whenever you go into the nether and you have journey map, make sure to make a portal waypoint, because then you can easily find your way back. Uh, we don't have fire resistance, but we do have fall damage protection, so we just need to kill 16 pigmen or so. So what I can try is possibly... Um, since there's quite a few of them here, right? We're gonna make ourselves a little bit of a, a little bit of a room here. And we're gonna make sure that they can't get in from any side. We're gonna do that, that, and then this. And we might have baby pigmen, which might get problematic, so I don't know how... We have some cobblestone. We don't have a crafting table, though. Um, I could just climb up and be up. But I don't think we have any baby pigment here, so... There we go. We're just gonna sit here. I'm gonna probably lower my hostile creatures a little bit, so it's not too loud. Hi, do you wanna see me and come up here? Hello. Nope, up here in the middle. Right here, pathfind to me, please. Oh, apparently they wanna be in that corner. Ow, how did you get in? No, 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 no. I didn't see the hole up top. Okay. Ooh, we got one. Okay, that's fine. Do you guys wanna... No, how... They're hitting me through the corner. Minecraft is blocky. Is buggy. Blocky? What? Anyway, I'm gonna try and see if I can get these guys uh, killed. Uh, oh, there we go. Okay, so now I can do 16 kills probably. And we dealt some damage too. Oh, we get a better sword. Hold on. Deal damage. Diamond sword. This might uh, take the edge off a little bit. We did it, and no more are mad at us, at least I hope. And in here, 16 kill piggies. We can get green antimatter, which requires rubidium, which requires us to melt down green antimatter. Um, oh yeah, loot crate. There we go. We're gonna get rubidium in loot crates, I assume. And hopefully in the 18 that we have here, we're gonna get enough. We're gonna open them back home, I think. Uh, we also need a stack of soul sand for which I made this magical stone shovel So we're gonna just head on up here and get ourselves that as well And I totally forgot we have vein miner so I could have just done this and gotten a bunch of soul sand <laughs> So I'm gonna do it a couple more times I think cuz it always wants you to get a stack But you probably need more than a stack so we're just gonna pick up a couple here for the soul sand, we get two iron sharpening kits, and I believe we can now toss in rotten flesh in here, and we get protein. Uh, so if we grab a little bit of that, we should get the quest here complete. There we go. And we can now make, I believe, leather somehow. There's a chemical combiner recipe. Yeah, three protein in the middle gets us leather, so we need to make a hang glider next. I don't know if we have enough. What do we get from this? Silicon dioxide and thallium and more silicon dioxide. Sure. It is now time for loot crates. Really? Oh, I think I can just shift click. Yeah, to open all of them. Right. Okay, so we got enough rubidium. Uh, do we have the white antimatter? I do not. Okay, so I need to do a little bit of mining for that. But we got uh, caffeine as well. Has an effect when consumed. I think we get like speed. Yeah. 
We get night vision, speed, and haste. Oh, that's cool. This should make us a stack of green antimatter. Cool. And we get four loot crates. Okay, so you get uh, a bit more chances of getting rubidium and stuff. So that is cool. We also got another caffeine. You know what? I'm going to toss you in there. And also the protein. That's fine. So we can now toss this in here. And we get more rubidium. We get tungsten. And we also get tellurium, which is, I believe, what we need. And you always don't get enough out of this. So we need to totally grab another stack of white antimatter and make another stack of the green antimatter. We're going to toss you through here as well again. So we can get enough tellurium to, to do the quest. There we go. Cool. Go in here and get sorted. Nice. So this allows us to get 64 netherrack. And we can use that to make cobblestone generators by making tellurium ingots. Okay, so that's 16 tellurium in here. Uh, can I use this? It, says, uh, it gets us some gold. Just neato. Also zinc oxide, phosphorus, germanium. All, all kinds of good stuff. Uh, and I'm slowly but surely running out of space. I think we're going to just dissolve this down because I have two of these stored in here. Uh, right, so cobblestone generator is tellurium ingots, a bunch of compressed cobblestone, some water, some lava, and a piece of glass. That ghast has been really annoying in getting this lava. So we got one of you, we get another stack of netherrack. Awesome. So we need a few more pigmen kills, and that is going to be annoying with that ghast over there, because what I had the plan to was to, to just build a platform for me to stand on, and then we could just kill the pigmen from the bottom, because they would get easily attracted to me. Is the ghast gone? I think the ghast might be gone. Okay, I think this will work, so we're gonna do one, two, three here. They can't reach me, I can attack him, and it's gonna aggro all of them. And we can just, uh, do this. Simple enough. And that is a simple pigmen farm, and it's much better than the one that we had before. We can even move to one side, and they are all here in the corner, and we can just smack at them willy-nilly. And I totally didn't know that you could shift-click into the chemical combiner, which makes things much easier. I can just do that, and it locks the recipe, and then we can just put in, let's say, two of these, and it makes us the string, and we can then unlock the recipe, look up more recipes for this, for example. Uh, no, uses is what I need. We need to find the leather, which is down here, so we're gonna do boop. And then we can make ourselves a bunch of leather. Uh, we need, I believe, a total of this many. So six per side. So that's going to be another one, two, three, four, five. Ah, said five and six. I think that should be enough. And then the fishing rod as well. So we can make that next. So some sticks, bam, 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 like that makes a fishing rod. And then for the, for the hang glider, I believe we do this to get one of these. Uh, are you, do you need, okay, it doesn't need the left and the right one like uh, a lot of the hang gliders do. So this one is just regular glider wings. And then uh, we use one stick in between to get ourselves a hang glider. Nice. That's going to make traveling around the nether really, really, really easy and quick. We get a bit of XP for all of these. We get some cactus juice. We have enough tellurium to make one tellurium ingot if we unlock the recipe. There we go. And we can use that to turn it into a cobblestone generator if we make one piece of sand in here into glass. We can get ourselves a cobblestone generator. Tier 1, I believe. That's tier 2. This is a tier one. Oh, we need a bunch of cobblestone. Was it double compressed? Okay, we have a bit of, oh yeah, we probably have enough cobblestone. So let's make, that's 28, makes three. It's not enough, but we have a whole bunch in here. We can just do that and then toss the rest of it in here, boom. I believe we need three, five total. So one, two more, boom, boom. Cobble generator. Nice. Let's grab just a basic drawer. Uh, I don't have any more oak wood, so we're going to have to settle for some dark oak, which is fine. And just do this. There we go. Uh, we're going to smack you somewhere. 
up, 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 possibly behind here, and we can just put this on there. And then we can have our cobblestone stored in there, right, all the time. Neato. And since we have iron and redstone, might as well make a couple of pistons here. Uh, if we grab a little bit of cobblestone. One, two. And we can make ourselves a compacting drawer super simply. If we get a little bit of stone, which I'm just going to use my silicon dioxide here. And we're going to toss you in the second slot. And that should make us a stack of stone. Should be good. And we can grab that. We're actually just going to grab this drawer here. Which already accumulated a bunch of cobblestone. Oh, you have the st stupid locking thing. Okay, fine. That's actually a neato feature that they added to the drawers. Um, which is fine, but it is slightly annoying when you want to just break all the stuff out of there. But it prevents things that have happened to me before where I just broke the drawer and bajillion item items dropped on the floor and my game crashed. That also happens sometimes. I am actually going to downgrade my iron pickaxe to a stone pickaxe because I want to be able to repair it with stone. Uh, oh yeah, we need two more durability required. Sure, we're, we're going to waste a freaking iron sharpening kit for this, which is fine, but uh, that way we can just use this to vein mine and the nether. We can use it on netherrack and we can use stone sharpening kits, which we can now make in, in tons of uh, in here. Uh, we can make like half a stack of those or a full-on stack, there we go, uh, and basically repair this indefinitely and get a bunch of modifiers on it and eventually get the reinforcement modifiers. Just a bunch of obsidian and a bit of, I believe, gold or aluminum brass. For that. One thing that I totally forgot to set up in the last episode is the set home thing. If I turn off my caps, it should work. Set home, and we can do slash home to go home. So we can easily return from our nether adventures without having to traverse it backwards to the nether portal. I really scrambled because <laughs> I almost got killed, but I did get some drops. I did get what we needed. We have the nether wart, so we can complete the quest for the combo gen, like so. And we can also complete it the nether wart. And now we need to get selenium, which we can get from fish. I assume we can get it from nether wart. Yes, we can also get it from that. So we don't really need to fish uh, specifically. So we can just toss like half a stack of this in here and we get a bunch of selenium. We also got some diamonds in here, a speedy hopper. We got a bit of iron, a bit of gold, a drop of evil. Says work properly in the antimatter dimension. Okay, so we can make a cursed dirt farm, I guess. We also got a necrotic modifier, which we can add to our sword to get the re um, basically regeneration when we hit mobs. We also got some iron horse armor. I assume can we smelt this for one iron nugget? We can smelt it for four ingots in the smeltery, or we can. Yeah, that's four ingots. Right, we could just do that. Right, cool. Selenium, gotcha. Right, fishy matter, we get more protein. And the tier one, or the tier two is 64 selenium with some iron ingots and the combo gen. So if we head on back here, grab you, and we have enough iron and we have enough selenium, so we can do generator, tier, hello? Oh, is it? Ah, I gotcha, I see. Okay, it's the chemical combiner, so we're gonna libida this shift click cool we can do that that and then iron oh it's not gonna do the spreadiness there we go ha tier two couple gen completed cool we get some diamonds and the next one is seven diamonds and a stack of zinc so did, did we even get enough diamonds we have one does it say Upgrade to tier two. Diamonds can either be fabricated in the chemical combiner or found in another fortress. Okay, how do we make diamonds? Okay, a bunch of carbon makes one diamond. After dissolving a bunch of netherrack, we got ourselves a stack of zinc and we can toss it in here with the seven diamonds and also the cobblestone generator to get ourselves the tier three cobblestone generator. Like so, we get four of these storage upgrades, which is amazing, so we can uh, store even more 
carbon and stuff in here, we can add one of these and just remove this one and then add one of these and remove this one. <laughs> so it's on the left. Uh, and that way we can store a whole bunch. It doesn't really show here like it does normally of how much you can store, but that is okay. So the next one for the cobble gens is, I believe, blaze rods and also thallium. Thallium is gotten by dissolving soul sand. Uh, did we not get a bunch of thallium? We have 33. We have to go get a bit more soul sand dissolved, which we have right in here. Many blazes later, we have seven blaze rods cobbledren and the thallium and we can get ourselves the tier 4 cobblestone generator quest complete create four grass blocks which we can do here cellulose kaolinite and water to make kaolinite we need water which is just two hydrogen and oxygen we also have silicon dioxide already in here and the last thing that we need is aluminum oxide which is two aluminum and three oxygen there we go and we can turn that if we unlock into kaolinite by doing aluminum oxide, water, and cellulose. It's not cellulose. Oh, it's silicon. What? Silicon dioxide. That is protein. I totally grabbed protein and not silicon dioxide. Whoopsie daisies. There we go. Okay, we can get one of these. And then we can turn that into some grass with this. Boom, boom, boom. Grass blocks. Nice. Okay, we also need four fertilizer, which is polished granite. Turns that into a, its quests. Okay, so that's potassium chloride, the ammonium phosphate, and urea. It's a whole lot of complicated steps to get fertilizer, and we get eight from just one crafting recipe, which should be fine. So we can get ourselves a little bit of this and a little bit of this to make potassium chloride. We can then make a little bit of phosphate with oxygen and phosphorus. So we can do that. We unlock the recipe, phosphorus and oxygen. Don't know how much oxygen though. Maybe more. Ah, there we go. Okay, it's making the things. Ah, da, da. So many things. Okay, we got the phosphate. We need ammonium, which is nitrogen and hydrogen. So we can do just a little bit like this. Nitrogen and hydrogen. There we go. Gets ammonium. Then we need amide as well, which is hydrogen and nitrogen as well. So we can do nitrogen. Uh, unlock the recipe nitrogen here. A couple of hydrogens in here. There we go get amide and then we also need urea which is two amide one oxygen and one carbon and then we're gonna need how much of that stuff for hold on da, da, da. let's make one more of this amide so hydrogen nitrogen make us a couple more there we go okay we can then make this so amide a little bit of carbon and oxygen cool and we can then turn this in okay one of this is the components and then dimonium phosphate is just this which requires us to make i believe more of the ammonium we need one more so ammonium boom nitrogen hydrogen there we go and this is one two ammonium and hydrogen and phosphate phosphate hydrogen boom boom fertilizer okay potassium chloride ammonium phosphate urea we did it we made ourselves fertilizer that is way too complicated to get fertilizer okay we get some sharpening kits and here we get a compacting drawer okay so we need to get two dandelions now let's hope that we get lucky with the dandelions One. Okay, we did get lucky enough. Cool. Sweet. Uh, we are in a plains biome as well, so we can get a whole bunch of different flowers, but we got the dandelions. We get eight more fertilizer. We can now make purple antimatter, yellow antimatter, and polished granite. Polished granite's made with granite, which is diorite, or just silicon dioxide. Okay, cool. So, silicon dioxide. I think it was here in this left slot. Unlock recipe. Boom granite 
I can easily make the yellow antimatter. I'm gonna make two stacks of those and two stacks of polished granite as soon as we convert it like so. Boom. And I assume I toss this through here to get all the different things that we can get from this. And also with the polished granite, we get beryllium, aluminum oxide, and silicon dioxide. That's cool. I don't know how we get the iodine that we need for this, for the uh, purple antimatter, because it doesn't show here. It's lead iodide, which is, oh, there we go. Dandelion yellow. Okay. Um, I don't think I have the ability to make any crushers or anything or pulverizers. Yeah, so we're just gonna do this. And I guess you only need it to, oh yeah, you get a bunch of lead iodide. Okay, cool. And we can then toss this through here to get iodine. And we can then grab 16 of this. Uh, we're just gonna do 16 to get two stacks of purple antimatter. And I assume we get iodine back from this. Yeah, there we go. Cool, cool. So now we can just gather ourselves uh, 32 vanadium, 64 chromium, and also 64 beryl. If I remember correctly, if we add just one piece of redstone to our tools here, uh, like so, and I'm gonna add it to these guys as well. I need to toss in one redstone just so I don't use up all of it. Uh, we should get more and more redstone as we go. We can also make lapis in the chemical combiner with a bunch of different ingredients. I think we have all of these, possibly. So I'm gonna go through these and see if we can make a little bit of lapis and we can add a fortune to our pickaxe, which is gonna also help with mining nether quartz as well in the future. With all of this, we should make a little bit of lapis. There we go, we're just gonna pause it because I don't wanna use up all of those resources in here. So we're just gonna toss all of these back. We're gonna put some of these in here and we can then add a little bit of lapis to our pickaxe. Just one, there we go. Uh, I don't think we need a fortune hammer right now. I'm gonna make a silk touch hammer in the future, but uh, I have also gotten a bunch more white antimatter so we can melt it into the things that we need to make all of this. For the quest, you need to create 64 barrel, and each one of these requires 18 oxygen. So you need 64 times 18 of oxygen, which is a whole lot of oxygen. We also need a bunch of silicon, which is great because you have silicon dioxide and you can get it easily from that, but it's still a whole bunch. You also need three stacks of beryllium. So I went through like, I don't know, eight or so stacks of uh, polished granite to get that, but we should have all three quests complete. Like so, we don't get any rewards, and this cobblestone generator requires eight emeralds, which are made in the chemical combiner with beryl, chromium, and vanadium. So we can come in here and say emerald. We're gonna grab all of this out, we're gonna unlock the recipe, and we're gonna lock it for this, 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 this. We should get a total of eight, I believe. There we go. We can then take this with our cobble gen right down here, plop, and we can turn you into a cobblestone generator tier five, quest complete. We're gonna toss you down here so you can make us the cobblestone that we're gonna need for the deep dark portal eventually. And here we can get some reinforced servos and some item ducts, awesome. So we need to make a 32 potatoes, which are optional, which you can make with potassium and starch which is carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. That's simple enough. We then need to make some melons as well, some cactus, and possibly 128 stacks of fertilizer. Oh God. Um, right, so that is gonna be a bit complicated because that was the whole, this thing. So maybe we'll get there. The potato quest is the simplest one. We just need to make a little bit of starch here. There we go. And we can then turn that starch with a little bit of potassium into some potatoes. There we go. And we can then simply just grow the potatoes on some dirt, which we can set up over here. Just gonna break this. Actually, we're gonna break this side here. And we're gonna place a little bit of water as soon as I turn this water into, or this lava into obsidian, we can then use this to obsidian to make ourselves a sharpening kit so we can mine everything in the nether. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna remove this, place you down, and then I'm gonna grab this obsidian breaker things that we have here. You just right click an obsidian block and it breaks it directly. So we can do that a couple of times here, boom. 
and we can then grab this guy sharpening kit aha obsidian sharpening kit let's grab a flint uh do i have an extra flint i do not we can make i think flint with the dissolver uh yeah uh, or the combiner silicon uh, thingies flint make me a bunch of it please thank you very much just gonna grab one or apparently more than one uh and we can do that plus the obsidian sharpening kit plus this and we have mining level cobalt simple as pie and we can go grab more lava buckets and use more of these obsidian breakers which are craftable with potassium and sulfur as well so that is really simple to do we can now place a little bit of water right in here and we can hoe a little bit of the land and we're just gonna place these three potatoes down and then i'm gonna use my sneakiness to grow them also i made a watering can that i used to spread the grass over real quickly but we can just do this as well and also the sneaking and grow ourselves a bunch of potatoes and we can then turn the quest in melon seeds are also simple we need a bit of triglyceride which is also carbon oxygen and hydrogen we got a couple of that and then we can also just make the melon seeds with just some sucrose uh, i think i turned all of my uh, sucrose that i made before into here i might have some in here i do not okay so we have sucrose now and we can make ourselves some melon seeds just gonna toss in one of each just so we can get one seed um you know what let's get two seeds that's fine. We made two triggers, right? That should be good. And we can come here and we're going to plant you right down here. And then we can just sneaky grow the melons. They should grow to the other side as well, even though we can probably do this like so. And we can grow ourselves some melons. I'm kind of tired of always refilling this watering can. So we're just going to make the better watering can from tiny progressions like so. I went to the nether to kill a skeleton, so we got the bone meal from that and for cactus we need this thing called mescaline which requires a little bit of nitrogen which we do have so we can make exactly one of these and then we take that and i believe cellulose if i'm not mistaken to make cactus cactus where are you there you go cellulose that plus that equals cactus awesome uh, i think we have a little bit of sand in here do we have snad we do not have snad. That is okay. The sheer amount of stacks of cactus you have to go through to get enough nitrogen, this guy, to make fertilizer is insane. Because a lot of these require nitrogen. But that should make us a whole ton of fertilizer. Uh, more than one stack and whatever. So we can... Uh, I possibly may have uh, made like three or four stacks of this. Yeah, four stacks of this. I doubled the recipe by accident. That's okay. So now we can complete all of these quests and we have a choice reward. How does one choose? Ah, there we go. Okay. I want the traveler's goggles in here. And this guy, we're going to get the, not the zoom. We're going to get the traveler's cloak for the slow fall. Cause that is much nicer if you accidentally fall than the hang glider. So I'm going to grab that. I'm also going to grab the traveler's knapsack. That's a chest plate accessory. Ooh, that also works, so we can get... Yeah, 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 that's gonna be cool. We're gonna grab that. And then from the rest here, we could get the hardened upgrade kits, but we can get those later super easily. So I think I'm just gonna grab the satchel, because we don't need the zoom, because we have Optifine zoom anyway. So we're gonna grab that, and that should be good. So these are all accessories for these. Do we have any modifiers? I think we do. Uh, armory? Boom, boom. Modifiers can only be applied on the armor forge. Ah, forge, armor forge, requires four blocks of iron, some seared brick, and seared brick requires grout, which is clay, strange sand, or apparently sand, and gravel. I mean, we, we're gonna get there pretty soon, I think we just go to the deep dark, and then the next step here is to make a smeltery, yeah, smeltery components, gather up the ores. Yeah, okay, so let's go make a deep dark portal before we worry too much about this. Because these are all accessories. We could potentially grind out the grind out the iron. We have two iron blocks. How much iron do we have? A decent amount. I mean, a decent amount meaning we have like four... Make another block. Yeah, 12. 
I mean, we're not that far off. And making gravel and sand is probably as simple as, simple as silicon dioxide and also the clay. We can probably make... Oh, that's kaolinite. Can we make regular clay? Yeah, kaolinite is aluminum oxide, silicon dioxide, and water. That's simple enough to do. A stack of kaolinite should do the trick for the beginning at least. And I believe we just do this, this, and this in a certain fashion for grout. Hello, grout. There it is. Aha, there we go. Boom, two stacks of grout. And there we go. That should make us the armor forge. And we can now hopefully add our upgrades. So where is my helmet? It's right here. Helmet plus traveler's goggles. We get a stone helmet with traveler's goggles night vision. That's neato. Uh, now, I don't know if we can add both of these to the chest plate, but I want the slow fall. At least, oh god, that is so huge. <laughs> Can we add it in a different spot and it makes a different thing? No. Okay. Can I add the backpack as well? I cannot. Okay. I gotcha. So I could have grabbed two satchels, which is fine. Can I use this? A sneak right click. Put it in baubles? No. Okay. So we're going to have to either make a, a different thing for this. But <laughs> we look ridiculous. Okay. So the travels knapsack's not going to do it for us right now, but we do have the satchel, which has quite a bit of storage. Well, a little bit, a chest worth, and that's going to help us in the uh, gathering of ores in the deep dark, which I believe we can make if we grab four of this. Do we have enough triple? I think we do. Uh, and then deep dark portal. We need triple and triple. Okay, five triples and four quadruples. Deep dark portal. Done. Boom. Okay, we get two stacks of torches. Sweet, and then we need to enter the deep dark, and we get a devnel. Ooh, that's cool. So the deep dark portal can be pretty much anywhere. I'm gonna put it somewhere where I won't accidentally step on it. Um, right here is the perfect spot. And we're here. Hello, total darkness. Will you update the light? Thank you. <laughs> All right. So we made it in here. We are at Y 179. So it's best if we dig down because that's where we're going to get the chance of getting ores. I'm going to grab the dev null here though. And we're back in chapter three. We need to gather 16 tin, 16 lead, 16 silver, eight copper and eight gold. I figured out how you activate this. It's G and H for this and then another button for the leggings where we don't have anything, but we now have night vision all the time and we also have the slow falling. So we can basically start digging down and we can just simply slow fall to the floor. We might get some mobs, which could be a bad thing, but we can hopefully build around us fast enough. Plus we have the slash home command on set so we can easily uh, do that. And I'm gonna toss the cobblestone in here. Okay, lots of mobs coming down. They're fighting each other though, which is kind of okay. Oh God, lots of mobs. Let's see if we can head in here in one of the pillars and we're gonna dig inside of the pillar and we can uh, then avoid all the mobs that way. We are hurt by darkness, there we go. Um, let's do that. I don't know how I'm gonna get back to this place uh, next time, but we're gonna figure something out. Maybe we get some sort of teleporty things that we can get very soon, but we're gonna figure it out when we figure it out. I didn't realize that the armor takes durability damage and it breaks when you have the active of slow fall and also of the night vision. So we're gonna grab an armor station here and we're gonna try and see if we can repair this. Uh, repair, have to grab it out here, boom. I assume I can use wood. Nope, I have to use cobblestone, I guess. So we're gonna sneak right click this in the air, grab half a stack of it out. Boom. All right, gotcha. We can repair it simply enough because this night vision just, it burnt out super quick when I was mining. So uh, we're not gonna have it on until we have a bit better armor and we can add possibly the unbreakable things on it. That could also be a thing that we do. I'm gonna trash can this crafting station and the wood. We don't really need it. I did find a cave spider spawner that has a chest right underneath it. And I don't wanna break the spawner because I wanna keep it for the future. So we're just gonna break the chest. Uh, we got some apparently polished diamond boots. Hello, let's toss uh, some stuff in here. 
And we also got spawn spider eggs, name tags, and another chesticle. I made it back safe and sound using the home command from the deep dark. And we got a few loot crates from some mobs here that we can just open up and store. And this is all the loots that I got from this little mining session. We completed the quest here. So I gathered a 16 K ME storage cell and apparently more recipes unlocked, which is perfectly fine. So we can toss all of the things in the system now and not worry about anything being a problem because we have another 63 types of items that we can store, which is really cool. So the next quest is to create a smeltery, but I think we're kind of on the edge of the video for today. So I want to thank you all so much for watching. I'm hoping you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you smash the like button and you can also smash the like button for the ridiculousness of this outfit, which is amazing. So again, if you did enjoy the video, make sure to subscribe as well to get notified of when new videos go live. And you can also support me on Patreon as well if you want to. And I will see you all in the next episode. Have a good one. Bye-bye.